you're losing motivation because simply you realize that you are not able to do everything that you want at the you are quitting too fast it's not gonna stay like this forever and this is not your outcome you be your worst hater girl how is it possible one two three let's go hello guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel today we're here for a new video and we're gonna do the first video of the glow up plan season two and it's gonna be the episode three so i didn't want to abandon my english speaking community i thought that would be a great idea if i did this season in two languages i'm waiting to be able to do a video in spanish that would be so amazing 2024 anna please you need to be able to do like a five minute part. No, let's say three minutes because I really suck at like verbs and stuff. Three minutes of me only speaking Spanish on a video. Yeah, this is what I hope for myself. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about getting out of the slump. As you saw in the title of today's video, I really think it is important to tell you guys that not the only one to feel like you are about to lose track of everything, you're not proud of yourself, you're, you're losing motivation because simply you realize that you are not able to do everything that you want at the pace that you want to do it simply because you cannot or simply because there are things that got in your way possibly probably yourself i wanted to tell you guys to not worry about these things i'm going to tell you what to do and how you can help yourself get better because it's something that happens a lot during the end of november after halloween and the start of january we would call it seasonal depression or a slump and it is your moment to shine what is a slump okay i got you a slump is a sudden or severe prolonged fall in the price value or amount of something in our case it probably means that you feel tired and worthless so how do we cope first of all when you feel like that when you feel like everything is going faster than you or you're getting out of touch with reality or with your happiness or with your goal, you're unmotivated, you feel like you are a piece of shit, what to do? First of all, you need to allow yourself to feel these emotions. First and foremost, completely, entirely. If you need to cry, find somewhere safe to cry if you have someone to talk to. But I will advise you to feel these emotions alone so the person's opinion or the person's words of comfort do not alter the initial way that you felt so you can really be able to analyze your opinion because simply you are alone dealing with the situation but it's just my opinion please speak up either with yourself because it's really important to have these type of conversation with yourself or with others to try to figure out why you feel like that try to find the way to release these emotions you know, it's gonna submerge, you're gonna feel like you're getting drowned by a bucket of water or you're drowning in a pool of emotions or whatever. But just know that when you are in these emotions, make sure you feel them, but you keep at the back of your head that these are only just emotions. Nothing more, nothing less. It is not gonna stay like this forever. It is gonna change. It is not your current and final state of being. This is not your outcome. This is just part of the process and you should be grateful that you are able to feel these kind of things because this only proves your humanity. Not everybody is able to use this emotion to grow and use these emotions to be stronger, to be to help other people, for example, or to just use it as a lesson to go further in life. But right now we're not talking about later, we're talking about right now. When you are in the slump, please take your time. Take your time, feel it. Really, 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 really dig, dig on it. On it. <laughs> I had to say it, I'm sorry. <laughs> so when you're done feeling it, find a way to healthily release it. Some people are artists. Artists, you can do, I don't know, a dance, a choreography, expressing your emotions. You can do a drawing, portraying how you feel. You can write a song, you can write a music, you can write a poem, a text, a story. You can just journal about how you feel. This is totally valid to express yourself in an unusual way. If you wanna go outside and run a mile, run a mile. If you, you don't wanna spend three hours at the gym today, spend three hours at the gym. Find some way to cope with how you're feeling, but always, always keep at the back of your head that it is just now. 
It is not gonna be forever. This is not my final state. This is not how it's gonna end because you probably felt that before. You probably feel that every year as a matter of fact. So just guys, my real advice for you is gonna be to question yourself. Question yourself on why you feel like this. What is the situation? What is the feeling? What is the emotion? What is the thought? What is the thought that made you feel like this? Why are you feeling like this? I'm not asking you to judge yourself because I know when you are auto-analyzing yourself, you can go on a rant on how, you know, you are over dramatic, you are delusional. I don't care. Right now, we're trying to fix something that is wrong. How we can, and we're trying to fix something, how we can and with what we got. So to do this, I'm going to ask you to be really, 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 really honest with yourself. You can lie to everybody else in your entourage. Do not lie to yourself. Do not. Please be honest, be sincere. Pour your heart out to yourself and make sure that you understand what is the base of this? What is this base of everything? Is it the weather change? Is it just your brain um, maladapting to the seasonal changes, like the weather, the shorter days, the cold, you know what I'm talking about? Or is it a feeling of failure? Because as the year passes by and we get to the end of the year and we enter winter time, people feel as if they didn't do what they wanted to do. They didn't do all the goals they wanted to accomplish for this year. They didn't like, check out all of the things that were in their bucket list and their goals for this year. So they might sort of feel discouraged. But I'm gonna tell you something. The time to relax and sleep and slow down is now. I'm not telling you to stop posturing your dreams. I'm telling you as people living on this earth, we were not made to be hustling in wintertime. We were made to relax. And this is why people always feel that overwork is because we don't really be working with what nature gave us and we try to make our own rules. But guess what, nature made you. Nature can destroy you in a matter of seconds. You better start to adapt with nature. It's not nature's role to adapt to you. It's not nature's role to adapt to you. Just to say that. What do animals do in winter time? They hibernate. You think you're very different from an animal? And I'm not talking about like, oh, we all animal. Like, no. I know some people's belief are telling them that they don't descend from animals. I personally think we're not really different from animals in the way that we function, the way that we act. We're not... <laughs> That sounds really wrong, but I stand with what I said. We're not that different from animals. Why do you think people in like their primal nature used to stay inside in the winter? They used to rely on what they stocked, they made during the harvest time. This is exactly why you harvest an end of spring. Because you need to have the time to dry them things, to salt them, you know, to prepare yourself for the winter time. Nature is trying to tell you is that you need to take some time to relax. And I know it's hard because if you have a business, Christmas time is the best period to be working and to make sales. If you are a student, it's exam time, the end of the first trimester, so it's kind of busy and stuff slow i'm not asking you to stop hustling i'm not asking you to stop chasing your dream i'm asking you and i'm telling you that your brain is telling your body that it's time to take a break so if you're not following what mother nature is telling you to do which is like relax this is why the days are shorter because people's days are meant to be shorter what the fuck is going on in here on this day your life is supposed to be working hand in hand with mother nature and if you're not you're only tiring yourself it is normal to feel in a slump at the start and the whole winter time because simply you're simply not living how you were made to live simply because society is not allowing you to take a break so how can you take a break when you have the hustle and you have school when you have both you have a job you have a business oh my god this is so annoying 
can try to romanticize your life. It is the best time to follow what the TikTok girlies have been saying and live the slow life. So it is really, really hard for us to take things slow just because life has been just really fast in general. You don't really have the time to sit down with yourself and think about, oh, how can I do this? Oh, how can I be happier? Oh, how can I improve my quality of life, etc., etc. My thing for you is to actually, when you are, um, when you have a break, when you are in your bed or just laying down somewhere and you're relaxing and you're chilling, instead of calling your sneaky link and be like, let's link up, or instead of just mindlessly scrolling on TikTok, you can just take your time and be with yourself and enjoy doing what you like doing. I mean, I'm not telling you to do any activities because sometimes, bitch, we just feel like laying down. We just feel like, you know, we just feel like doing nothing because we're tired. During this time where you're tired, you can be like, oh, what do I want to do? What do I don't want to do anymore because sometimes we're following dreams that we don't even know why we're, do we're following them in the first place. So try to remove things that are not your priorities and are just eating up your time. And most of the times, this this what I'm talking about right now, it's not things. This is people, probably ourselves, but it is people eating up our time, energy, love, courage, um, honesty, eating, eating everything up, <laughs> you know? So you need to take your time and be like, what do I want to erase from my life? And I really think winter time is the time of reflecting it's the time of taking things slow and really observing our progress and stop thinking that we're a failure and actually contemplate what we have done this is really a good introduction for me to the next point which is stop thinking that you are a failure the moment you start thinking that you are a failure is the moment you start being one i said what i said babe you act like a failure. Your brain hears that you, you act, you are a failure. People are gonna take you for a failure because you're constantly telling yourself that you're a failure. Why would you call yourself a failure if you're not a failure, bitch? People actually see yourself how you see yourself. So if you think you're an annoying girl, you are gonna be perceived as an annoying girl. Be careful how you talk about yourself because some of y'all need to stop treating yourself like you are your biggest enemy. You are not. You're supposed to be your biggest ally, your biggest friend, your biggest lover. You're, you're supposed to have your own back. You don't have your back. You be betraying yourself by talking down on yourself. You be your worst hater, girl. How is it possible? You're supposed to support yourself. You're supposed to have the highest thought of yourself. How to do that? How do you stop being a failure how do you stop self-sabotaging it's the moment you decide that you're no longer that you're no longer that person you like the person that you look up to start copying your alter ego you know like the person your personal you created i know you have one i know you have an alter ego i know i it's even in fake scenarios you made up before you got asleep in 2012, that was an alter ego. Build this bitch up. Make that bitch, you know, the person you look up to. I think the person we look up the most is the person we were when we were little. If you were an awful little girl or awful little person, babe, I'm sorry for you. But in my opinion, I was the baddest bitch of the world when I was a little girl. I was confident. I was beautiful. I was thick. I had a great not like that or I'm just healed or whatever. I'm not healed. I still have a lot of work to do, you guys. I'm I'm in the process. I'm trying to get better. Okay? But it's a long process. Let's get to the next point. As I said before, what is the lesson you learned from that situation? What is the lesson you can learn from that feeling? And I'm gonna tell you this answer right now. I'm gonna tell you that you do not take time to appreciate your growth you don't take time to appreciate your progress your success you don't take you don't give yourself your flowers honestly i'm pissed treat yourself like the queen the king or the royalty person you are it's raining you know this is the best way that modern nature can tell me like girl you are telling the truth it's raining Right in my, right in that, girl. 
There is no other way that I can prove to you that mother nature and us humans work together. We're supposed to be working hand in hand. So it really breaks my heart when I see y'all treating our planet like a piece of shit. But it's not the topic of today. Why do you feel the way you feel? This is good journaling prompts, you guys. Please note these. Take your notebook, your journal, whatever. Note these. What is the lesson that I learned from that situation? And why did I felt this? Is it because I wasn't confident enough? Is it because I felt like I didn't have the capacity to accomplish what I wanted to do and that's why I didn't do it? Is it because I was self-sabotaging? Is it because I didn't have enough esteem and myself? I didn't believe in myself? What is the reason? What did you do wrong? What is the mistake that you made that got you in that position? And I'm gonna tell you, you overworked yourself. You made a bunch of good things and the moment you did one little thing, you, you quit. You are quitting too fast. So what did you do wrong? What mistake, what step did you miss? Because sometimes we wanna, we wanna climb the ladder too fast. You're supposed to take each and every step because with each and every step, you're learning at least three lessons that are gonna be valuable when you're gonna be in the top. That's why people who get famous, people who get popular, people who get um, augmentation in places, you know, like job places or whatever, they fought really easily because they, they did not have the foundation that comes with climbing the ladder like a normal person is supposed to do. What do you want to do? How do you feel? What do you want to do? What changes have you made? Who is the person that you are after the situation? Because this is a life-changing thing. Because you are learning that you were not going at the pace that was designed and made for you because divine timing is supposed to be respected no matter if you believe in god or whatever no matter if you believe in the universe or you believe in nothing you believe in yourself divine timing exists and for every person who tell me that they don't believe in god i really think god is you god is in yourself you don't need to believe in him believe in yourself that's enough for me believing in yourself also means that you are believing in whatever whatever good that is inside of you. You're, believe, you're believing in the goodness that is in yourself. God is the goodness. Bro, be the support system and the friend that you wish you had. That is really, really important, you guys. That is a really, really good part of healing in general. Be the friend and the support system you wish that you had. It is really, really important. I'm really tired. I'm really tired of it, but now that we are done self-reflecting, we're gonna, we're gonna give ourselves some flowers, like I said, okay? What makes you proud of yourself? I have pretty skin. My lips are pretty. My nose is cute. Or I have good grades. Or I had a better grade in math. Or you know, it doesn't mean it doesn't need to be something big. When it's your friend you admire or love, you give the person their props. You celebrate that person, even in little things. Why don't you do it for yourself? It's not that hard to be, I'm proud of you. You make choices to be proud of who you are because some of y'all be really shitty hurt people and you'll be, you, you be surprised on why you're always sick and depressed because bitch, you wasn't supposed to be doing all of that. And then I wrote, you need to fight that narrative that got you there in the first place. That thought, that belief, that habit. It's probably a habit, self-concept. Probably you overworking yourself. Oh. Also, I'm never going to stop saying it. In a way, I'm not saying cut off. I'm saying take a break from people who trigger this feeling. And I'm talking about insecure people. You cannot be insecure and be friends with insecure people. Who's going to lift the other persons up? Who is going to be the 90% to your 10%? I'm not telling you that you need a person to be whole. But in a friendship, you need this extra support. And sometimes you need a person who can give you more than you can give them in order for you to grow. And you know, you never know your experience might be helping the other person to grow too. You never know. So yeah, get away for a moment or forever. I don't know. It's your opinion. It's your decision from people who trigger the feeling of lack that you have in yourself and for yourself. Listen to the thoughts. Listen to how you feel after 
this you see that the pattern has changed or if you feel like the pattern has stayed the same make sure that you learn to know yourself make sure that you understand what is going on inside of you and for this i recommend stop listening to music for a second i recommend playing your inner dialogue in your head i recommend taking time and getting to know yourself better and knowing your thoughts because sometimes when we listen to music too much we don't have time to think because the music is constantly covering up our little thoughts it's constantly covering up how we feel and how we think and that's why i said in the first part of the video that you probably don't need a friend to self-reflect on the situation and to feel in release because they, they might alter with their point of view especially if you are insecure uh, feelings, the emotions, the thoughts that you had in the first place. So make sure that do you don't let that happen either with people, with music, situations, events, etc, etc. You need to be alone and safe in a safe place. Last but not least, say yes to yourself. Make sure that you trust yourself and make sure that yes, you are capable of doing that. Yes, you are able to do that. Yes, you love what you're doing. And yes, this is something that you want to keep on doing for the rest of your life whether it's your job, whatever, you need to make closure with that situation. You need to make sure that you turn the page and you rip the and you put it somewhere else. So yeah, say yes to yourself, make closure with the situation and move on to the next, to the next. So this is now the end of the video. I hope you liked it and I hope you liked this third episode of the Girl Planet Season 2 and I'm going to tell you Bye-bye.